Hi there folks, um, this is another one of our tutorial videos uh, showing you how to use some of our fabulous stamps for Art Inspirations. This one um, is a walk in nature, something that I particularly enjoy with the with the hairy kids. Um, and this is of course uh, one of the, the brand new stamps, depending when you're watching this, uh, from A Forest of Shadows. Let's get stamping! Okay, so we're creating this beautiful image or we're recreating a version of, okay? Um, the stamps, you've got a lot of stamps here. It's another A4 stamp set, which I love because it, it means I can give you more stamps and they're bigger. I mean, just look at the size of that. It's a huge stamp, um, which means you've got so much detail. So you've got all of these beautiful stamps. I separated the whole thing, the whole scene, um, so you could recreate your scene. You don't have to recreate the same scene every time. Please have a play with these. Play with the different um, ways you're gonna be able to layer them up to create different scenes again and again and again. Uh, in order to recreate or try to get this, uh, we're going to start with this big stamp here. Normally I start with the top stamp, but I separated this stamp and the this image so you didn't have to use them together all the time because I thought on its own that stamp's going to look really daft with just a random flower on the top of it. So that's why I've separated them. So we're going to start on the lower stamp because I know nothing's going to be um, lower than that. So it gives me a great base. Uh, using my stamping platform, so I know if I do anything wrong, I can go back in again. Um, and I'm just going to have this about there, <clears throat> like so. So let's get that inked up. What I might do is pop things I should have done before. So if I pop that there, so then when I'm inking up, you can see what I'm doing and you're not just looking at a black mat. That helps, doesn't it? So, inking this up. Now, as ever, I'm using my very fine clay, um, the black one. I'm using the black one for this, although I do think with these stamps, um, well, let's face it, any stamps, you can get away with using so many different other colours. These are so natural. So if you're using beautiful greens or browns, that would absolutely, that would work. But I think this one, this is just a summer walk. It, I love this stamp because it just reminds me of all them beautiful walks with dogs. You know, it's um, it's perfect. I'm gonna then take my gorgeous little poppy and that's gonna sit right at the top there. I might actually swing it round a little bit more. Um, the image isn't gonna be perfect with your, your design or the original because of this stamp. Because that stamp realistically should sit over the top of here. So it means that if you want it to be more spot on to the original, then that stamp really you should be cutting out and mat and layering over the top, which you can do if you want to. I don't. Now this one I'm going to have, so it's kind of going in here, just like that. Um, when you look at this, I mean, I adore, I adore the frames that these create. And, I, and it means you can put anything in them. I'll be honest with you. Every time I do these, you know, my angles go skew with it. I get a different angle every time. Like when you look at this now, uh, if I look at that as though it's my top one, it kind of needs to do that a bit. Do you know what I mean? I get it. I get it different every single time, as you will, you know, um, because the placement of that shifts everything. And it allows you to decide where you're going. But sometimes it's like, oh, I've skew whiffed it. On the original, I didn't notice, and I can't believe I didn't notice this. There's a dragonfly. I didn't notice. I redraw these images. I didn't do as much at redrawing on this one, to be fair. But there's a dragonfly. Oh, my gosh. So that dragonfly is going to have to make an appearance in one of the other stamp sets that I do, isn't it? Because... That's ridiculous. How could I leave the dragonfly out? Okay, so the stamp I'm now looking for is the little gate. So you've got a little gate with a bit of dry stone walling. So that is going to sit just down here, like so. I am using my stamping platform. Normally, uh, do I want it? Yeah, because this is going to determine where my straight line is. So that's about right. Normally when I do small stamps, I like my normal um, 
just my acrylic block. But with this one, because I'm building up seams, um, I'm going to keep to my platform. Okay, so that's that. Next one is the sheep. Um, if there's any little stamps that you, you need to, so for instance, if you need to extend that line, get yourself your fine liner. Get a black fine liner, extend the line with that. Don't try and, you know, faff about with a stamp. It's not worth it. Because you can get a different look every time anyway, um, if you're anything like me, then it means that they will, some will line up perfect, some look sheep, some won't. So um, your fine liner is the answer. I am tidying the stamps up every time. So when I'm faffing at the back, it's because I'm tidying up. <laughs> um, this now is the little hill that you're looking for. And that hill, let me bring these in, is that little one there. Oh no, it is not lying to you. That hill, there's this little one here. I said it with such conviction as well, didn't I? Oh, um, and that is gonna sweep down approximately there. Okay, so it's gonna have a little sweep. Oh, let's have it going up like that, in fact. Yeah, that's better. So that's going to sweep down mm. there. Perfect. I'm going to give my sheep a bit more room. I just felt my sheep were being a bit squidged then. The, the field had been reduced by a good hectare. Okay. Well, I can't know what a hectare is. There. Cute. At first, it means nothing. You know, when you're doing the building, it's like, what, what on earth is that? Uh, the next one. You've got these lovely ploughed heat fields and there's even hay bales. Oh my gosh. Do you know what? I, I tell you, I, I find something different every time I do these stamps. It, every time I look at the stamps, every time I use the stamps, you see something different. I mean, that is magnificent, isn't it? Considering how closely I've worked with these and yet I'm still seeing something different. Amazing. So pop that just there like that. Um, the stamps are by A Forest of Shadows. Please look her up because um, she's so good. And her artwork, oh man, beautiful. Maybe you want to purchase an original or a print. I'll just tell her she's great. Okay, so we've got that lovely and now we're starting to see that scene come to life in front of our eyes. The next is a little church. Now, on the original, your little church is kind of hidden by the shadow, by the trees. So you didn't really see the little church. I didn't want to have it too hidden um, because I thought, well, you won't be able to use it for anything else. So I've done more of a full church, but because your um, the trees are quite solid, it doesn't matter if it overlaps. So you will be able to use that little church for other stuff. You know, it won't just be restricted to this, this design. And I, I thought that were really important. Okay, so that's my, look at it. Love it. it. It's making sense, isn't it? You see, isn't it cool how the scene suddenly comes to life in front of your eyes? It's so cool. What you'll find, because of this, this bit, I've extended that bit out. So these edges, it might be that my edges don't come straight to the edge. Don't worry about that. That's where your fine liner comes in. Um, and those little touches, to be fair, you don't even really notice it. This one is your next one. So that's your little um, line of trees, which just arc round like so. So that's that little one. And that one, we're gonna nestle in. So it hits, hits the church. It snuggles up to the church just about there. Let me see how much room have I given it from the trees. Yeah, about there is good. So that'll snuggle up to the church just there. Like so, and that's gonna just sit in there, beautiful. And then the next little stamp um, is going to be, you can see we've got all these lovely rolling hills. Oh, beautiful rolling hills. So the lovely rolling hills, that one is, let me find my stamp, da da da, that one. Okay, so, oh, let me show you that one, okay. That's your rolling hills. Sorry, I keep forgetting to show you uh, what I'm doing, which is very rude. So that one, it does come over the church like so, but mm, 
Let's just see where I'm going to position it. Let's position it there. Now, it's not going to. It kind of ends about there. So it, it almost looks like it's floating. Don't worry about that. We'll sort that out later. So that's that one. That's that little hill. Just kind of perfect. Oh, I love this. I like doing this because it's it's seen it come together. It's just, um, it's quite magic, isn't it? Now, the next side I'm doing is this little rolling hill. So again, now the first time, when I was doing this the first time, I picked it up and then nearly stamped it upside down. Don't do that. But do you know what? Look at it. When you look at it, it's like, yeah, you could get away with it. And that, that, that's the nice thing about hills, isn't it? And sort of things that are trees, but actually the kind of blotches, you can get away with them. So if you want it to be something else and you do it upside down, don't worry about it. Because that's nearly what I did. So that one is going here. And I think I've really changed it from the original now. This hill is is way higher than the original, but again, that's okay, way higher. In fact, before I put it down, I'm gonna change my mind there, because let me show you. Look, look, look. See, it's miles lower, so before I pop that down, it's like, well, hey, you don't need to do that. Um, let me just find my stamping block, bear with. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm doing my usual thing. Okay, I found my stamping block. So let's just re-ink this again. Make sure I haven't got... Don't do what I'm doing. Don't put your block on your finished work. I do that all the time. And of course my blocks are never clean. So that's... Let's look where we're going. So it's down there. So that hill is tucked down there. See, I had it up here. If I'd have done that, then it would have affected my sky. And we don't want that now, do we? So let's have that so it's just tucked in. Oh, well, we'll just pretend that's a wall. <laughs> um, oh, that's perfect. Look, it's lined up. Yeah, that's a bit of dry stone walling that's just coming down off that field. It, it means that my, um, that my sheep have got less of a field, but it's okay because the dry stone walling hasn't been replaced, half it's fallen down, so they've still got a big, a big range. <laughs> um, the next bit is just this. Now, that is a really, um, it's a handy little hill is this one, because... It's like the just just shadow, if you will. So I can pop it. I'll do it with this one. I'm doing what I said. Don't do, aren't I? Um, so I can pop it here, but because of the the way this has been designed, it's really good for look. Just oh, I love that. But also, you know, on this one, and I said that that kind of just fades off. So I can have this. So if I reposition this, and then just ink part of it so if i take some of the ink off this bit here okay so that's not gonna ink there we go so just rub that and then i'm just going to ink half of the image like so so then this means i can have this little hill just going over mm. I could take some more ink off, but I'm just going to do it like that. Perfect. See? So it just fills in this space, which is spot on. Oh, I really like that. Now, our finishing touch um, for this fabulous little hill scene is the clouds. The gorgeous, gorgeous clouds. And do you know what? This is one of my favourite stamps because it's just so... Um, because I love clouds. It's just so pretty. And this will just finish your scene perfectly. For this one, I'm coming back to my platform. So don't take your image off your platform, even if you're, you're mixing it up. Make sure you stamp your clouds the right way. Don't do these upside down. Again, will it matter? Might matter. Okay, and then let's just pop my clouds in, like so. 
beautiful. Look at that little scene. We've created our own little scene. Um, I have obviously got a bit of an ink blotch, but it wouldn't be me if I hadn't got an ink blotch. But let me just show you what scene we've created. Um, you've got a lot of stamps that we haven't used yet. And if I show you the detail of this, so you have got bits bits that I do. Um, me, if I were faffing, I, I would faff because, so you see these little bits that, um, like there, I get my little fine liner and maybe dot in there, maybe um, extend that little line a bit. Um, and that's only because this one I put further out this time. But again, it, it's still creating that beautiful scene. Isn't that fabulous? If you want it more um, precise, then rather than stamping this on, you're going to stamp that, you're going to mat and layer it, and then stick it over the top. See? Because it actually goes over the top of those two. You know what? We forgot a butterfly. But I'm going to change it up. So that's my original. I haven't really given them a butterfly much room there, have I? Um, again, because mine's slightly different. So I'm going to have my little butterfly. Let me get the little butterfly out of the frame. Because, as I said previously in one of my other films, um, I like things out of the frame. So my gorgeous little butterfly is out of the frame. Doesn't it look beautiful? And actually, you've got another little butterfly because of course I haven't given you one, but I've given you two butterflies. So your second little butterfly can also be out of the frame. And you've got your sentiments as well. So you can use your sentiments on this one. Oh, I've got my, my thing there. So there, there we go. My lovely little butterflies. Isn't that fabulous? Um, I really hope you enjoy working with our stamps. We'd love to hear from you. Please join our group. Um, because, of course, we, oh, <laughs> we love seeing what you've created as well. Art Inspirations Creations. Uh, and thank you ever so much uh, for, for basically um, buying our stamps and supporting us. And yeah, I hope you love your Art Inspiration stamps. Thank you.